That was a super fun multiplayer session. Now let's just hit the shop before it closes. Oh my gosh. We're not gonna make it. I only got a couple minutes. Guys, you can't all leave at once. You know Nintendo system is so stinking slow. I'm literally locked in place. It's happening over and over again. I'm like a freaking robot that hasn't been oiled. I cannot move more than an inch. I'm completely frozen by the game's terrible online system. Stuck. Forget it. I won't shop. I'm just gonna hunt. Oh my god. I can't even hunt bugs. Stop leaving! This is absurd! What do you want me to do? Okay, fishing is fine. Just gonna dump this one back since my inventory's full, oh boy! Seriously, what is happening? What is going on? Okay, it's over. We're fine, we're in the clear. All good. Everybody, oh my jeez! I can't even move six feet! They have to fix this! What the heck, Nintendo? Shouldn't have kicked me out. You have been cursed. Animal Crossing New Horizons is a phenomenal game. It is magnificent. Near perfect, some may say. But after playing this darn thing for almost a month now, can you believe it's been 30 days since launch? We've realized that there are some areas that have given even a tiny bit of TLC would help make the game so much better. If Nintendo would just focus on a few small things, they could make our lives a lot easier and improve the gameplay experience by a lot. And that's why today I'm bringing you a list of your most wanted AC New Horizons updates. I've been talking to you on Discord, reading the comments, searching the interwebs, and I've compiled a list of the things we all want them to make a little bit better, but it would go a long way. So what's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with this list or if there's something else you wish they would update and improve in Animal Crossing. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and have been having fun with the game for the last month. I cannot believe it's already been four weeks. Holy freaking crap. Time flies when you're paying off Nook, trying to move out villagers, and making your island three, four, and even five stars. It's been a wonderful adventure. Let's get to the uh, hey guys, it's Tom Nook. I've drained Zach of all the bells he's got, and we need a few more for our next getaway package. So I wanted to tell you about a real nice deal on Devolver Digital's games. They've made some of the coolest indies on Switch, like Katana Zero, Heave Ho, Enter the Gungeon, and you can grab a bunch of games on their Steam sale for up to 90% off. So just click the link in the description down below, and uh, with all eight bridges built and all the house expansions complete it's getting a little tight around here so even if you just click the link it's gonna help me and the boys out the sale runs till the end of the weekend so if you're feeling decent give it a look bye bye now I want to give a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers. If you've joined since AC in the last few weeks or days, what's up? Hello, so glad to have you aboard. Thank you for joining us on this Switch journey. It's going to be awesome. You guys have been flooding in, and it's it's the best kind of flood. So thank you, hello, and welcome. We begin our list at the Able Sisters shop, a great place to shop and play and spend your day. But there's a big issue here, one that has plagued everyone at least once. You show up, you check the wares, you enter the fitting room, and you see a bunch of cool stuff that you like. Unfortunately, you can't buy it. You're only allowed one piece per part of your body. A hat, a shirt, an accessory maybe, some pants, and you gotta go. Out, they say. One purchase and you're done. But over on Reddit, Amaphine has come up with a beautiful idea. A solution that's so simple and yet would make our lives so much better. Look at this, the shopping cart system where you can buy as much as you want. Use your hard-earned bells to shop till you drop. This is what we need. Wouldn't this make things so much better? Instead, I have to buy what I pick, and then I have to step out of it, and then I have to go back in, and then I can buy again. But what if you want multiple colors? What if you want different options? This is the way to do it, Nintendo. This would make everybody so happy and save so much time. While we're on the topic of clothes, let's talk wands. Wands are pretty freaking sweet. They allow you to swap your outfit and magically transform into a different attire, but there's a bit of an issue. Why don't wands allow me to pull different items from multiple outfits? Check this out. If I want to make an outfit here, 
if I clear a new outfit and I want to create one, it is going to, oh gosh, don't look at Nike Villager Zach. It's going to take these clothes. So if I take this right here, right, I go pick a pair of pants, um, grab these right here, and we get a little, a little hat, a little snow hat, get some accessories on, maybe a duck bill, some socks, and some shoes. We're ready to go. Boom. This outfit is created. And now if I go and I want to make a new outfit, I want to not look like Eleven from Stranger Things, but I want to look at something different, check this out. That shirt is gone. Those pants are gone. They're not there. I have to use one piece for only one outfit. I can't spread them across multiple outfits, which seems silly because it requires I go buy multiple of said garment. And I just showed you how buying multiple of said garment is a headache. So the whole system is linked together in a weird way. I wish we could create the outfits we want from all our clothes, no matter how many times they're being used. It's magic after all. It's a magic wand. Let it be magical. Everybody has experienced this one. You're going to craft, you got a ton of resources saved up, but you can only make one campfire at a time. You got to craft it and watch the animation. You can't speed it up if you mash your way through, but you craft and then you got to go back in to keep crafting. Now, maybe campfires are a little goofy, but if you're trying to build a bunch of bait for one of CJ's tournaments, or you want to make a bunch of flimsy nets for you and your friends, it takes a while. And it shouldn't. We should be able to craft multiple things if we have the resources saved up. And that's why I like Medigeek over on Twitter's idea of a simple, simple menu like this. Craft one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or maximum. It would be so great to allow for multiple item crafting, bulk crafting, bulk crafting, simple tweak, amazing, time-saving, efficient, effective addition. Nintendo, if you're gonna listen to anything we talk about in this video, here might be the biggest one, because crafting is cool, but ball crafting would be so much better. Next, it ties into crafting, because tools are something you craft very often, and tools, what happens to them? They break. Well, it would be nice to know how close they were to breaking, so I love Evagast's idea over here. This one is really, really nice. A simple bar to indicate how much life your tools have left. A durability meter, if you will, right in the inventory. How sweet would that be? It would be very helpful. A side note is that I wish gold tools would be infinite. What's the point of working so hard for these darn gold tools if they just poof like everything else? If I reach gold standard, I should be getting a higher standard than a breakable tool. But Nintendo, where is my durability meter? Come on now. This next one is a bit more involved, but I think it's something that you've probably been involved with. A better way to move out villagers, or at least something that was more understandable and didn't require a huge purchase. Because right now the only surefire method to change up your populace is to buy amiibo cards. And amiibo cards are old, they're not for sale anymore, and they're going for a whopping 50 to $60 on eBay, which is insane for a pack of a few cards. But that's the go-to way to get rid of a villager. And we've tried all sorts of other theories of ignoring, over-ignoring, talking, over-talking, locking them into their front yard, trying to time travel. Nothing's all that easy and nothing is very surefire. It would be so nice if I could just get the villagers I wanted, or at least remove the ones I don't. And I wish there was a bit of a simpler, or if not simpler, at least a more direct, known, and workable way to move out some of your unwanted friends. I do love Marina, I don't want her to ever move out, but I do wish that these recipes I could give to people I love, maybe my friends and family, the ones I've already acquired, I hate that you can't store these recipes. They must sit in your inventory or sit on the ground. I understand I can't learn it twice and that's fine, but if I want to give the cherry lamp to someone else, let me store it in my inventory to save for later. It's silly to me that these recipes, for as cool as they are and as great of gifts they'd make, I can't do anything with except drop or hold. Why can't I put them in my inventory? Doesn't make much sense, but would be pretty nice and make for a lot better way to help out others who are missing a certain DIY. Ah yes, we've arrived at a big one. A time sink, if there ever was one. A convenience saver, if Nintendo would do something. I love Dodo Airlines like I'm sure you do. It's fun to travel and visit your friends. It's fun to head to Mystery Islands. But oh my goodness, these menus are maniacal. It's like you have to sit through an entire novel every time you want to do anything. And they ask you and they confirm with you and you have to click. Why not just give us a better menu? We're going to go back to MediGeek on Twitter who came up with this beautiful concept of a Nook Airlines convenience menu. Use a ticket. Play locally. Search for friends. Visit a Dodo code. 
open a dodo code, open the gates. Why isn't this all available right from the start? Orville deserves our praise, yes, but man, I'd give him so much more love and he'd be blushing 24-7 if he'd give me a workable menu. It just makes sense. We've done this a million times. We talked to him so much. You want to fly, you got to either log onto the internet or go local. What do you want to do? You want to visit someone? If you accidentally hit the wrong button, you're backing out and redoing the entire dialogue tree again. It's like I'm trying to build a Dungeons & Dragons RPG character when all I want to do is fly with my Nook Miles ticket, or all I want to do is open up a Dodo code. It shouldn't be this difficult, and when you've talked to Orville like 150 or more times, just open up the menu, man. This looks so nice. It would be so convenient, and wouldn't it save all of us so much hassle? Let's talk island management for a little bit. It's great to try and beautify your space, and people have come up with some amazing five-star resorts, I wish it was easier. I think we all do. Why are there such strict parameters? Like you can't place a tree unless it has a three by three square. If you're trying to make something super organized, symmetrical, or just nice looking, you have to work through all of these hoops. Like you can't place it too close to a cliff. You have to make sure it's not cl too close to another tree. And this pops up in other areas besides trying to plant more flora. It just seems like they could make things far more convenient and not limit you so that our islands could be even better than before. On that same note, let's talk the island designer app experience for a moment. Now, I think terraforming as a whole could be made so much speedier, but I'm not here to try and change Nintendo's entire systems. I'm just here to make incremental improvements. And everybody is saying they wish that the island designer app would have a grid or some better perspective or better system to quickly and efficiently design your island. It would be so nice if you could see from above with the grid, know exactly where and what you can place and where and what you're gonna do. Do it in bigger chunks. It would just be a lot nicer for those who love to design. And there's some weird quirks like, I wish I could build sheer cliffs and just send them skyrocketing. It would look so awesome and stuff like that just isn't possible. You end up missing and shoveling into thin air far too often. A little would go a long way in this app and they could make it a whole lot more convenient for everybody. Here's a fun one. All those songs you acquire for KK, what if there was a way to enjoy them besides radios and KK himself? I love this earbuds concept from No More Eggs 4112 where you have an audio player iPod app App on your Nook phone and you can take these songs with you. He's got a system where you could shuffle them and star different songs, favorite them, and have fun listening to that awesome epic KK Adventure score on the go as you work crafting one by one, buying one by one, dealing with the Dodo Airlines menus slowly but surely. Wouldn't this be a nice way to help mitigate the nuisance? I sure think so. Even when I'm recording videos, like, I gotta get balloons. I want you to know that if you ever see a balloon during a video, I do stop and get it. Like, at the end of the day, the grind is just as important as the video. So I gotta grab that free present. LaBelle and her friends love to come to the plaza. And I understand that resident services is a monumental focal point of your island. And Tom Nook is the dude. He doesn't want to have to uproot and move. But wouldn't it be great if we could move this stinking building? It would add variety to the islands and it would be convenient for planning if we could pick up and move this city square to somewhere else, closer to the airport, back in a corner, off to a side. You can move so much and they charge you so handsomely. I wish they just let you move everything. And along those same lines, if you've already paid 50,000 bells to move a house and you want to adjust it ever so slightly, please just let us do it again. It's silly that we have to pay time and time again to move these buildings, and there's no easier way to shift them ever so slightly. I mean, even the bridges and inclines, it's a hard system without a true grid or an ability to look and predict. They have the imagination, but then you have to move and adjust, and it'd be so much better across the board if they let you control exactly where bridges and inclines were via some sort of grid-based system instead of guesswork. I mean, they're getting their bells, they charge an exorbitant amount, we're paying to move over and over, be a little flexible, grant a little lenience, cut us some slack and help us out in moving resident services, better bridge building, and even house movement adjustments on the cheap. You guys saw this one at the top of the video, but man oh man, a better system for coming and going to your island. I understand it's a lot for them to bring these players to your place, and it's fun once they're there, but the system of 
everybody arriving, especially when you have more than a handful, and everybody leaving, it takes so long, it feels sometimes like it's hard to even move or get where you want to go because every time you try to adjust, boom, somebody else is being brought in and they're requiring you to close down your conversation or at least just freezing you in place. It's frustrating. I mean, I think there's a lot they could add to the co-op experience to make that better. But again, we're not trying to change entire systems. We're just looking for little things that could go a long way. And I think some better way than constantly over and over again, impeding your enjoyment by bringing up these warnings, bringing people in, bringing people out. Goodness gracious, it's gotta be simpler than this. This is a personal request, but I would love to have bigger pockets after a certain amount of time. I mean, 40 is better than 20. I understand that, and it's also better than 30, but 50, 60, I'm constantly filling out my pockets. And I'll admit I'm not the most organized of Animal Crossing villagers, but I do wish I had more space or a portable storage bin so I could place a few throughout my island and go over here, store some resources, go over here, store some furniture, go over here and store some of this or that. I don't want to return to my house and load in and load out every single time I need to empty my pockets. Now, you may argue that that's just part of Animal Crossing and a way that you have to get adjusted and accustomed to, but I'm looking for efficiency. I'm looking for improvements. And I think bigger pockets, even if you make me pay an insane amount for the upgrade or just allow backpacks to let us store five or 10 more or give me storage bins that I can place. It would make me a lot happier and probably some of you as well. Let's head in and take a look at our storage because my final update that everybody would like is crafting from storage. I've got all this gear in here, resources ready to go. How nice would it be if I could just craft from this menu? So if I store everything in here, I you know go to empty my pockets like I have to because there aren't infinite slots and I put my branches in my wood, I put my weeds in my ore inside of my storage, why don't I have an option to craft from right here so I can use all of this? Or if that's not the way they wanna go, then when I'm out here actually at the DIY table, let me pull up my entire storage. In fact, that might be the most efficient way of all. Give us multiple item bulk crafting and then give us access to our storage so when I'm going to make all those vaulting poles, I can pull from what I've got in totality, not just what I've got on my person. I think there's so many easy ways they can improve this entire flow, the workflow of acquiring and storing and crafting. Those are the ones I think would be the simplest to fix and I think they'd impact just about everybody. Well, there you have it, a bunch of little things that would go a long way to making our AC Island life all the peach here. Will Nintendo make these improvements? They could. I don't know if they would, we'll have to wait and see, but if you got any other ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you agree with this list and wish they'd make these improvements, let me know which one you wanna see done first and done most. I'd love to hear from you. Also hit that like button if you're enjoying these videos and enjoying Animal Crossing. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm having so much fun with the game, even if it takes forever to craft, even if I have to shop one by one by one. I wish it would get quicker. I wish Wilbur and Orville would find a way to get me to my destination without a million menus, but hey, the game is phenomenal, so even if they change none of it, it's still absolutely the adventure I've been waiting for. And I hope you guys are having just as much fun and staying safe and staying healthy out there. Thank you again for all your love and support. It means so much to me. Feel free to check out the Discord server, Switch Strong, link in the description below. It's a great, fun, safe, happy, positive place with a bunch of cool people to talk, trade, discuss Animal Crossing, hang out with me, find cool Switch game recommendations, and more. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. You are the best. Switch Force, out.